Hi, and welcome to Hull & Hull TV. I'm Dana O'Brien, and I'm joined by Ian Hull and Susanna Popovit montag partners at Hull & Hull LLP, an innovative law firm that practices exclusively in estate, trust, and capacity litigation. Here at Hull & Hull TV, we're exploring the issues around estate planning that affect you, including estate tax. Ian and Susanna, one of the duties of the executor is to file an income tax return on behalf of the deceased and the estate and make sure any outstanding income tax is paid. Susanna, how important is that final return? Well, it actually is quite important because, as you say, it is part of the executor's duty to make sure that the tax returns for both the estate and for the deceased are filed. And in fact, the Income Tax Act here in Canada will impose personal liability on an executor who's failed to discharge those duties. And when should the return be filed and any taxes paid? Well, that's going to ultimately depend on the date of death. If the individual has passed away before November of any given year, then the taxes will be due for April 30th of the following year. If they pass away in November or December, they'll have six months from the date of death. In terms of when you want to pay those taxes, the reality is because of the personal liability that trustees will face in these situations, they'll probably want to do that as soon as they possibly can. Ian, what is voluntary disclosure? Well, it's an opportunity for an executor or a taxpayer while you're alive to go to CRA and say to Canada Revenue, I have made a mistake in my filings and I'm voluntarily telling you that and I am anxious to resolve it with you in a cooperative manner. And it really comes down to this, that simple of a process. And it is not always required to be done with a tax advisor, but almost most cases anyway, you would want to have some advice before you went into that step. And what's the benefit of voluntary disclosure? Well, I think when you're alive, it makes a lot of sense because you want to stay current and you also want to say to the tax authority that you've made a mistake and you want to make sure that there aren't significant interest and penalties that are going to be charged against you. But the unique characteristic of voluntary disclosures in the context of your estate is, is that executors are sometimes faced with a problem where they're administering an estate but the deceased, the person who's passed away, has not done everything as well as they could have with regard to their filings. So it's a, it's a crucial tool for executors as well as those of us who are alive when we have a mistake, but it's also a chance to fix that mistake on behalf of someone who's passed away. Susanna, what is a tax clearance certificate and is this something executors should ask for? Well, a clearance certificate is a document that we seek from Canada Revenue Agency that basically confirms that all taxes, interest, and penalties have been paid for whatever period of time that we're seeking that clearance certificate for. And it is something that, although executors are not required to actually obtain, it is something because of the personal liability that they will often try to seek in before they do any distribution of the estate. In charitable donations, are there different ways of making a donation in a will and what's the best way of going about it? Well, there are. And I think the first and foremost thing about any charitable donation is to get good advice because it is so personal and it is such an, a, an, is an issue that ties to your own assets and the type of assets you have affect on how you're going to set up your will. There are ways to give shares directly. There are ways to set up trusts. There are ways to set up charitable trusts. All of the mechanisms that you have available to you to give to charity will depend on your personal circumstances. So of anything, and the most effective tool you can do is if you're going to give to charity, do it the most effectively, then you need to get advice because if you will often forget your personal circumstances may affect how you are going to set it up. And it may not be as advantageous for the charity, which is silly. We want to take as much advantage as we can to get as much to the charity as possible. Ian and Susanna, good advice. And thanks for joining us on Hull & Hull TV.